Hello, everybody. Anybody here? <laughs> I know there's a few of you in the chat. Um, hello to everyone that's watching this after the fact. Welcome. Please take out a diamond painting or a cross stitch or whatever you're working on and let's go. Um, <laughs> it's really good to be back as well. So I'm excited to uh, finally have another live stream. It's been a good three weeks, I think. So um, if, if everyone can hear me, I'd really appreciate if you could tell me because I am using a different microphone setup. So um, if you can hear me, could you say chocolate? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, uh, Jessie says she can hear me. Good. Excellent. Maybe there's a bit of a delay or something like that. Jessie says she can hear me. Good. Excellent. Maybe there's a bit of a delay or something like that. Um, I want to show you guys what we are working on today. Um, this is the one that I unboxed and I put it up yesterday. Um, was it the day before? It was yesterday. It was yesterday. But basically, it's this. Um, my camera is at the wrong, going the wrong way. But look, uh, can it autofocus? Will it autofocus? This is a brand new camera. So we're going to play around with this for a bit as well. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, it had it. Oh, no. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but you know this picture. Um, we are working in this corner down here today. So you can kind of see the paper coming out of the wine bottle. It's at a different orientation because this is the easiest way for me to work on the painting, which means the symbols are sideways. Uh, and I'm not really sure if you can see it. I wonder if I can um, adjust settings while I'm in the stream always challenging getting this to, um, to work properly, but hopefully you can see okay. Let's see, maybe if I bring you down. So this is new as well. Yeah, that's out of focus completely, there we go. Oh, no, I spoke too soon. <laughs> Sorry about these technical difficulties. Ugh. I don't want to shake you too much. I had it a second ago. Oh, you can see the shine. Oh my gosh, guys, it's so shiny and so lovely. Um, the beads are dream. And I literally have like, okay, here's my little carrying case that I showed you guys. You see the beads that are floating around in here are my trash beads from this painting. How many is that <laughs> so far? Oh, I'm spelling this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. And two of them are round, so do they even count? <laughs> um, but it's great compared to the last painting that I did. Amazing. Um, oh, Jennifer Stitches. Going to the mailbox is a big disappointment. <laughs> and I heard that there's no mail tomorrow either in the States, which stinks. Um, funeral for George Bush Sr., is it? Um, hello, Mrs. Crochet and Coffee. Welcome. Uh, <laughs> really crafted, not believe it. <laughs> Oh man, the joke is never going to end. If you don't know what we're talking about, you might want to know. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I brought I brought some snacks tonight. So um, just to remind you guys, because I know I've been I've been painting since about oh my goodness, I guess I got home at five, and I think it started at five thirty or six, and it's now eleven p.m. So don't forget to eat something. I don't know why this is. Is it backwards on yours? Because it's backwards on mine. Fix that. I don't know. What's up? This is a brand new camera. So I got some chocolate. Um, I had some pills that I made. 
And I also have these, which um, if, if this is backwards, I'm sorry. Oh, it focused. Focus again. Yeah, you can do it if you want to. Anyway, these are um, uh, sausages. They're gluten-free, roasted and diced hot chilies. I thought it would be funny to eat one of them online. <laughs> I mean, I like spicy food, but yeah, who knows how spicy it is? I don't. Um, I got them in the airport and I was like, oh, my hubby will love these. And um, he got one, but I was like, I'm going to try it. So let me see if I can catch up with the cat because it's all like, wow, well, all well, of a sudden Christy's here. Woo -hoo. Um, who else is here? Chelsea's here. Um, Chand is here. Judy's here. Hi, Judy. Hi, Laura. <laughs> Laura, were you here earlier? Because um, it was just an inside joke from one of the other live chats that we were. I don't even know how it started. How did it start? I don't remember. Um, Mr. Coffee feels like he's going through the potato famine. <laughs> we haven't had mashed potatoes since Thanksgiving. Well, I mean, in fairness, you need you need to have real mashed potatoes. There's no point in getting instant ones because they just taste like like papery clouds or something. I don't even know. Oh, I should probably say. Okay, so this is um, square, obviously, and I'm working on color 163, which is kind of like a um, I want to call it like a sea green color. Why does it go out of focus so bad? I'm really sorry. Is anybody actually watching though? Like, are you guys just working on your diamond painting? Because if you are, then I don't have to worry too much. But otherwise, I'm really, really sorry for the technical problems. I, I promise I will work it out, but I don't want to cut off the stream um, in the middle of it. This is I got started. Oh, whoa. Okay, so that's like really close. So if you haven't seen this before, I ordered a handmade resin diamond painting pen. It actually looks quite good on the, this camera if it focuses. It's um, made of resin, like it focuses and then it goes out of focus. Um, I don't know, it maybe it's the lighting or something. But yeah, it's really pretty and it's so nice to like hold on to. Uh, see, it did it again. But um, yeah, lovely pen. Really, really nice pen. Um, I got it from a Facebook group or page called Rich Crafts, uh, R I C H Crafts, and he is based in the UK. So, all my American friends, I'm sorry. Uh, you could probably order from him, but it would take forever and the shipping would be quite high. I mean, the shipping was high, high for me, and I'm just over the pond, like. Is that what they say? Across the pond, over the pond, something like that. But anyway, it's late. And I'm loopy and I'm sorry. Uh, let's see now. Tastes like cardboard. Yeah, it really does. Cardboard. Really. Bleh. Oh, Nathan said he had a lot of knobbly bits on his drills that he was working on. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Now I remember. <laughs> Naughty bits. Knobby bits. Knobbly bits. <laughs> but I'm glad that everything looks okay on your screen. Maybe it's just mine. I don't know. <laughs> um, hey, Sarah. How are you? Long time no see. <laughs> I just I know he has knobbly bits. Oh guys, he cracked me up. Um oh just a fair warning, my husband is currently addicted to Red Dead Redemption for PS4. We just got a PS4. Um and that's a long story and I don't want to come off the wrong way or anything, but it is a really funny story if you'd like to hear it. But the end of result is that he is now playing Red Dead Redemption 2. And Butt. 
he's just walking through the hallway. So, um, and uh, it's basically like a cowboy game where you're in the wild, wild west and you have like a horse and you have to do all these quests and you know wild west stuff. And he really likes it. He loved the other games. And so yeah, I've lost my husband to a video game. It's like it's winter. It happens. I have my diamond painting. Uh do chat. Oh <laughs> yes, clearly crafted. That is what happened. Oh goodness. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't want to repeat it. It's funny. It's funny, but it'll just sound wrong if I say it. <laughs> oh, you got your diamond containers. What containers did you get, Jennifer? I've missed you guys so much. It's been a really great vacation, but like at the same time, home is home and it's, it's nice being home, you know, I feel like I can let my guard down and just you know, not wear a bra in the house. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else is like that, but like, oh my God, when I get home, I'm just like, oh. See, I don't have kids and I don't live with other family members or anything like that. It's just me and my husband. And when I walk in the door, first things off are shoes, then bra, then makeup. That's the way it goes here. We we don't put on a show at home. <laughs> but um, I always wish I was the kind of person that would be like, oh, yeah, everybody come around my house. If somebody shows up to my house uninvited, I'm like, excuse you. <laughs> uh, you could have sent me a text message. But I know that's not very hospitable of me, but I'm a very solitary person. <laughs> Let's see. Um, the struggle is real. Video games. No, I'm just as bad though. Like, if I didn't have diamond painting, I would be fighting him to play video games right now. <laughs> yeah. Good evening, Rob. Welcome. How are you? I've never seen you at a live chat of mine. That's very exciting. Guys, there's a man in the chat. Hooray. I'm just joking. <laughs> But I'm not joking. He is a man. Um, they're extra clean. Super clean. At the... <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just as bad as, as he is for games. And, like, because our area is so seasonal, you kind of just have to go with the flow. I'm going to have to move you back. Whoop. Look at that. Look how smooth that is. New armature, guys. So like, oop, right. I just knocked you. Basically, I can just go like up and down and all around. It works really well. Which I'm very super excited about because I bought one. I bought one of these tripod thingies from China, and it took like a month to get here, and then it stopped working after maybe the fourth or fifth recording that I did because it got loose or something. The the what's majiggy. The thing that held the cell phone is what I'm trying to say. And then I was over over in the state for Black Friday, as many of you know. And I was like, well, I got to do a little Black Friday shopping, right? So <laughs> I got on Amazon, Dakota UK, and I got myself a new armature, this thingy that's holding up. That my brand new webcam, woohoo! And I got a mic as well. Now the mic isn't gonna work for live streams, but it will work for everything else because I'm still gonna edit videos using my phone. Um, and I'll be able to use the mic, and the mic has like a windscreen and everything. So I can use it outside for anything, for taking videos of my puppies or for walking around town and showing you around and still talking or whatever, whatever we do. So, which is super exciting. And I know I speak really, really softly and I get a lot of complaints about that. And I'm sorry, I will try to speak up, but 
I'm just a naturally soft-spoken person, so it is hard for me to to speak up too loud. That's why microphones exist. Hooray! <laughs> Sorry if that came off a bit sarcastic. Um, but yeah, I, I will work on it. What else? Oh, hi, Virginia. Whoa, lots of faces. <laughs> that really got my attention. Thank you. <laughs> Man in chat. <laughs> um, who else is here? Super superior. Hello. <laughs> I don't think he wants your bras. <laughs> He goes braless all the time too. Fair enough. Uh, where is my chat going tonight? <laughs> uh, let's see. I uh, need to pass Rob. Maybe this get rid. Rob, are you scared? <laughs> Hi, Virginia. Welcome. Um, ah, thank you. I love you guys too. Let's see. I'm just trying to keep keep up with the chat, but I'm confused. Jennifer Stitches, what did you get on this store from AliPress? Hi, Maggie. Hello. How are you? Are you diamond painting too? Yeah, we all need to. I hope everybody has a project that they're working on right now because I don't want to be the only one. And I've been doing this for five hours. I needed that break guys. I don't know about you. I, I really needed to get up, get up and get some water. Yeah. I was struggling. Um, speaking of water, I got my water right here. Let's take a drink. Sausage thing and see what happens because <laughs> you are wound up. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready to moderate this <laughs> this chat tonight. All right, first bite. Mmm. Mmm. It's not spicy. I don't know if you can see that. It's not spicy. It's like. I don't know. It's good. It's good. It tastes like it tastes green. Mm. It tastes just about as green as these drills right now. I don't know if any of y'all noticed, but I have a cute little friend. If you can tell me what type of animal this is, you get and cool point. Mm hmm. While I finish this sausage, delicious. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. If I make Rob the moderator, then he's going to kick y'all out. <laughs> Hello, Sarah. How are you? Welcome. Welcome to the craziness. <laughs> now. I'm going to bring you back. It's not a raccoon. Try again. We'll try to bring him more in frame or her, whatever it is. It's, it's not a red fox, but it's really, really close. Hang on. I'll bring it down. Hold on. Your stomach's now. Well, will it go past? Does it need writing or something to focus? Focus. This camera is, I don't know, is it messed up or something? Yes. Very good. It's a red panda. Well done. And cool points, Alicia. Yes. Oh, you meant the panda? Oh, well, you get cool points too. Sarah gets cool points too. So, yeah, wow, it's been a long time. I'm just trying to think, what should we talk about tonight? I thought that it'd be cool if we did a Q&A so that you could ask me questions and I can answer them. 
And then if we run out of questions, then we can just rant for a while. But I don't have I don't have too much juicy news or anything. Uh, there's a few things, but I just got back and then I had I rabbited on in my last video. So if you saw that, you probably have all the updates, most of the updates anyway. But if you have any burning questions, I'd love to hear them. <laughs> Hi, Chrissy. Welcome back. Let's see. Maggie guessed first. <laughs> well done, Maggie. A quiz. There could be a quiz. I can make a quiz. <laughs> I thought that was really clever that Leisha made that the quiz for for the for the giveaway. That was really, really clever. I may have to borrow that idea. Oh no, spare drill. Get off of there. Glee. Oh, you have to watch my last video. That's fine. That's okay. It's quite long, so don't worry. <laughs> no offense taken or anything. Um, I even have another video that I, that I recorded before that video needs to go up but I figured that having like three videos in one day is probably a little too much <laughs> and I don't think that my internet would like that either and I was like no I want a live stream I can't be uploading this much um yes give her the 10 cool points she she knew red pandas are awesome that's well obviously that's why I got it but oh sorry I just Hit my head off the camera. I think that's all of that symbol, so I'm gonna pack this one away. I'm just looking one more time because you always know three. That's right. Now I really, really like this new um this lockable man. This lockables. Every time I'm on every time I'm on camera, I get all messy. Dang it. Let me get my fingers. Oh. Take these off. Come here. Thank you for watching, Laura. We we like it when you when you when everybody watches too. I know it's hard to get a schedule. We've been talking about this all night. <clears throat> like I have a job where it's not your normal nine to five. I wish it was in sometimes. But then again, you know, it's kind of nice to not have a very repetitive job. But then it's like, it's impossible to make the schedule. I'm getting too old for that. 38.07 is the next one. Oops. 8.07 is blue. And this is the symbol number six. And that's what it looks like. It's in here. Oh, see? Is it in focus for you guys? I keep going out of focus for you too. On my screen, it's out of focus. I don't know. I gotta fix this. It's gonna drive me nuts. Because I keep looking over and I'm like, can you see what I see? <laughs> Wait a minute, what is a fuzzy taco? Oh no, you're not talking about bits, are you? Hang on, did I miss something? <laughs> um, Laura, I didn't make the diamond pen. I ordered this from a Facebook group called Rich Crafts from the UK. But if you are in the state, there's there are a few of them out there on Facebook. Um, one of them is handmade diamond painting pens, and I'm currently on the wait list for that one as well. Um, it's a very long wait list, but from what I've seen, it looks like it's worth it. <laughs> um but yeah it's um it's a very comfortable pen this one that I bought and there was a little snafu in the post so it was shipped from oh you can't even see what I'm doing sorry 
there we go. Um, it was shipped from the UK to me, but the first one didn't arrive. And I was like, what is going on? And there for a minute, I was kind of like, mm, have I done something wrong here? Like, did I choose the wrong shop or something? What's going on? But I talked to the seller, Richard, and I told him what was going on. And I was like, man, it's been three weeks and it's not here. And I don't, I don't know what's going on. And he said, well, that's fine. I'll just, I'll just send you another one. It's okay. It happens from time to time. So I got that one after a week and perfect. It's this one that I'm holding right now. It's beautiful, pink, opaque pen. It's made of um, resin, very hard. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> I opened the mail today and I got a second one. It's slightly bigger. See that? So this one is the original pen, and this was the replacement pen. And the label on the package said that this pen was mistakenly sent to Canada, but it's very clear on the package that it's to Ireland, and it even had my area or not my area code my zip code um iris zip code in the system i don't know how it got to canada but it went to canada and back <laughs> so and i think that was around the time of the whole well at least on the way back it was during the strike so yeah um but it made it home and i don't know what i'm gonna do with it we'll see i don't need two pens i don't think so we shall see but i have two same type and this this one has more let's see if i can get them both in frame this one kind of has more ripples in it so that might be, appeal to more people um and i think it costs about 20 dollars us without shipping but that seems to be the norm but yeah i really love the way that they feel they're very light but they're heavy enough that they feel good in the hand they feel very balanced so anyway, enough of that. What did I miss? What did I miss? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I've yeah, I've <laughs> ever seen a dog run on hardwood flooring while chasing his tail? Yes. Yes. Oh Sarah, you have one of his pens as well. Yeah, they are really nice, aren't they? Oh, Jennifer, I hope you feel better. Yeah, we will do our best anyway. <laughs> I wish I could hear your voices right now. We'll have to do, we have to get a gaming or a gaming, a diamond painting convention going on or something. Um. Oh, sorry. I'll, don't say anything bad while I'm away. Nobody S word. <laughs> um, another inside joke from another live stream. Uh, rich crafts. Is it two words? Two words. So if you go on Facebook and you look up rich crafts, it's the one with 704 likes. And I've got the link here. Copy that. And stick it in the chat. Stick it in the chat. There we go. Perfect. Okay, sorry, Christy. So I've got I've got the link there for you guys in case you're interested. <gasps> Carla Mix is here. Woohoo! Get yourself some coffee and come join us. Um, we're all a bit loopy at the moment because we've been down with Pinky for hours and piggybacking off of everybody's live streams. <laughs> it's been a really fun, really fun night. <laughs> hi, hi, Diane. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Let's see now. So I'm just working on this um, every moment piece. So I have to have this finished before Christmas. Ideally, I'd have this done so that I can get another diamond painting done before Christmas, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Kind of nervous about it. But the colors in this is phenomenal. I love them. So vibrant and like. None of the colors look matte, if that makes sense. Sometimes 
they look a bit dull or something, but these ones don't, which is really nice. Um, yeah, I get some coffee, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with water because I feel like everybody is getting sick these days. I just noticed I have some popping drills. Oh boy. No, it's not that bad. Okay, it's just a few, probably from me going too fast. Let's see. Oh no, Jesse said it. <laughs> Thank you, Diane. Yeah, they, they did come out really, really well. I'm genuinely impressed. And all of those frames, I never mentioned it or anything, but all of those frames came from Walmart. So they are a more affordable option. I didn't want to, to spend the time at Michael's that it would take to get them custom framed. And to be honest, I'm kind of glad I didn't. I feel like I could spend that money on more diamond paintings. So win-win. <laughs> they, get, they get a beautiful framed picture and I get more diamond paintings. So. Uh, yeah. Hi, Laverne. Hi, Kelly. Welcome. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions for me, please feel free. Um, but I'll tell you the story about what happened about the, whatchamacallit, the PS4. Black Friday. I have been... I have been out of the country for eight years now, and I don't live in the States, if you didn't know that. Uh, I live in Ireland, so I don't get to do Black Friday shopping. Uh, Black Friday shopping has come over to the UK, Ireland area, but it's not like mad chaos like it is in the States sometimes. So I didn't really feel like it was like that bad this year. Don't know about you guys. What, what about you? How do you feel about Black Friday? Um, and then Crafty, you need to calm down with the coffee. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. You, you, you do you, you do you, boo. Um, no, but, um, so, right. So I got on, I got online and I was like, right, okay, I'm going to go crazy bananas and see what's going on. I really wanted to get a PS4. Unfortunately, all of the PS4, the regular standard versions, they were all sold out. So the bundle with the Spider-Man game or something, it was $1.99 in dollars. And that's only like 160, 170 euro. And I was like, wow, that's super affordable. I will definitely get one. But I was way too late, obviously, because, you know, that was like the doorbuster for every electronic store. So I ended up, going and finding the best deal I could, which was a PS4 Pro, which has uh, more storage in it or something. Um, and it has better graphics, HDR, something like this. Anyway, it's, it's like higher tech or something, better, better quality, the newest one. Um, but it also came with Red Dead Redemption and a $50 gift card to GameStop, which is obviously a game store right I was like wow that's that's a really good deal so that was like $3.99 or something and I was like right sold let's do that so it I bought it on Black Friday and it arrived on the Tuesday after which was fab we turned it on we checked it out everything was running perfectly smooth we even went out and bought some games with the $50 credit and I was like so excited right because we had read online that there is no problem. You can bring it overseas and you can use it with a different um, cable, the one that plugs into the socket here, because there's already a built-in transformer into it. I'm sorry, I'm ranting now, aren't I? But the story is about to come to an end. So we travel home and that's a long story in itself. But we get home and we're dying to open this up and it's set up. and. Our friend who was minding the house, who was watching our house, was still here. And we had to sit down and chat with him and kind of be nice and sociable. And, you know, we're we're after 
more than 24 hours of travel at this stage, I was like about to go out of my brain. I was so just out of it and <laughs> like frizzy hair and the whole deal. I must have had wild eyes or something. I was just like, so how are things? How's the house? Yeah, chickens are good. Very good. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, I just need a shower and I need pajamas and I need to take off, take off my bra. Ah, <laughs> take that PS4 up and just relax. Um, but I kept it together. I kept it together. I kept my cool. Um, and so anyway, he goes away. And the first thing I do is I'm like, let's go. Get on. Let's make sure this works. Because, you know, it was in our carry on luggage. You can't, you can't put it in. Um, in your suitcase, the one that goes under the plane, you have to actually carry it physically onto the plane and everything. So we get on the plane, we get them over, la la, open it up, looks perfect, plug it in, turn it on, light comes on, but nothing comes on the screen. It felt like my heart had sunk to my toes. I was thinking, oh no is broken. I don't know what to do. Needless to say, we were at it for two hours and it ended up with us bickering at each other, trying to figure out what was wrong. I was like, there's got to be something wrong with the table or it's the disc or it's the resolution. And we're trying to boot it into safe mode. And we were doing all the stuff that we read online and watching YouTube videos because, you know, YouTube. And nothing we did work and I looked at him and he looked at me and I think we both just knew it was time to get a new tv <laughs> pretty much everybody was saying if it doesn't work and you've done all these things then it means that your tv is too outdated and I was just like are you for real right now so we buy ourselves a christmas present and splurge on ourselves and now we have to buy a tv oh my gosh i know i know i'm not complaining i'm really not complaining but it was just like we have to <laughs> we did not factor this into the equation at all i just saw six up here so uh, was it? It was yesterday. Yesterday, my husband didn't have to go to work, and I did. And he went up to the nearest city, and he bought a brand spanking new TV. Well, us anyway. Um, that is an ultra HD TV, um, all this stuff, and it was a really good deal. It was like an after Black Friday, not quite Cyber Monday, like the week after. I don't even know what they're doing now. Is that even does that even count? But anyway, it was on a super sale. And we got it dirt cheap, and I'm so happy because now it works, and there's no more bickering and no more complaining. So that's my long story. My husband is happy, and I am happy. Now I can get back to time and paint. <laughs> okay, I feel like I missed all of the stuff. So let me see. Okay, I remember Kelly coming in. Kelly, welcome to the lives. I'm so glad that you're here and I'm I don't know how you haven't found him before, but I hope that you stick around and and keep drilling with us because we we like a big family here. Every time I go to a frame I accidentally click buy a diamond painting. Yeah. Yeah. I I have more on the way. I'm not supposed to, but I do. Black Friday in Australia is online, really. I think it's better that way. Um, no lines, no people trying to kill each other. It's nice. <laughs> I'll do me, kitty pee. You're so cute. You got the Red Dead bundle for Mr. Coffee? Excellent. Awesome. A V? A V? What's a vive? Sorry, Carlebix. What's a vive? Is that like um, a smart thing for the house? My hubby loved Red Dead, but our Xbox died the red ring of death. Oh no. Oh no. 
I see. I've never had an Xbox, but I've heard that that is like that's the worst thing that can happen. Basically, it's just rest in peace to the machine. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. Are you going to get a new Xbox? I'd love if Black Friday was only online. Yeah, me too. I think I think it will be soon. I think people are tired. Like, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. When I worked, sorry, sorry about the dog. Luna. Sorry, guys. Um, just stop in a second. If Black Friday were only online, it means that the people that are working retail could relax and not have to work on Thanksgiving. I think that that's the worst part about it. Right. Luna! I think it's because she keeps barking because we keep getting these waves of really heavy rain. And she thinks that it's like a car or something. So when she's alerted, she just starts barking and won't stop. So I do apologize for that in my lives. I know that that can turn some people off. <laughs> it was a really good deal. Oh, you worked at Walmart? Yeah, I worked at Best Buy. And no, no, never again. Um, it's not as bad as Walmart though. Walmart is much worse. Hi, Red. Sorry, I just saw your message there. Hi, welcome. Uh, I'm still behind. Sorry, just keep, keep, keep scrolling. Just keep scrolling. What's the DP you're working on? Oh, I keep hitting buttons. Step it. Okay, the DP I'm working on, just to remind anybody that hasn't been in here, is the wine bottle from Evermoment. It's called Abstract Bottle on their website, I think. And we are in this corner right here. So where the where the message in the bottle is. I didn't even know that was a message in a bottle until my husband looked at it. And I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. You feel smart. Hi Tammy. Welcome. Oh, a VR headset. Oh. And is it like, can you play games? Well, I know that you could play games, like, but like, how good is it now? Do you know what I mean? Because it was just like, oh, you can just walk through this haunted house, which was creepy. And I stopped using VR. <laughs> After that, my friends were like, hey, come and play this game. It's really fun. And then I was like running into walls and stuff. <laughs> oh yeah how's your new do short and sassy oh very good excellent i'd love to see a picture are you on instagram um trying to talk to him into a new xbox but he says i need to stop buying diamond painting <laughs> just i want to get another job <laughs> i'm just kidding people do get crazy on black friday um, do, 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 am I nearly caught up? I think I am. One of your cats is Luna. Oh, yeah, my, my dog's name is Luna. Her name before I adopted her was Lunar. And I was like, well, that's just weird. Like, can you imagine calling your dog Lunar? It just sounded weird to me. So I changed it to Luna. I think there was some kind of article that I read as well that said that dogs should be named two syllable names like uh, uh, Luna, Lucky, um, Batman, whatever, as long as it's two syllables, because then there's something about the reaction time or the, the tone of the voice and having two syllables. I don't know. Some very interesting research. If I can find it or even think about it, it's too late for me to even think right now. Uh, but yeah, I will share that if I can remember. And I feel like I'm still missing a bunch of chats. You guys are very chatty tonight. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. Uh, hi, Shonda again. Oh, wait, it's Shanda. Sorry. Do, do, do. 
whoever moments not started them yet because I have gifts to give. I feel you. I have so many gifts still. And yeah, I mean, it's nice to give. But once Christmas is over, that's it. It's, it's my turn. Your ever moment custom. What did you get a custom of? Sorry, I for I for gosh. I'm still just obsessed about those um those beaded cross stitches. And I keep going on Alex Press and looking at them and then I'm like, $80. Like, I just can't. I love Skyrim, but I can't do Skyrim because I got Ruined by The Witcher 3. And if you have never played The Witcher 3 and you like playing video games, please give it a try. It is amazing. It's probably one of my favorite games on Earth. Just saying. Just saying. Now it's ruined Skyrim for me. I can't even go back to Skyrim. <laughs> Mr. Gordon wants to be iron. All he is him breaking everything in the I could see that happening. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And no, I wouldn't give it to kids either. Cause yeah, like limbs everywhere. <clears throat> Hi Mandy. How are you? Yeah. Skyrim was so much fun. Can't afford my ever moment. I'm going to order spent so much money on the new bed and bedding. That's okay. You can always get it next time. I really have to save up for this one and for a gift for the, another one of my friends. Oh my gosh, I just realized. Um, yeah, that epic mountain of a painting. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna need your help, I think. Here's your love and support on that one. It's huge. It's hanging up here on the, on the closet doors beside me, staring me down, going, you have to finish me before you go back to the States next year. And I'm like, mm -hmm, okay. It's gonna take forever. And it's very dark. But that's what I wanted. Well, sorry, you can't see me again. Let me move you down. There we go. All right, if it keeps going in and out of focus, guys, I really don't know what's going on. It's a new camera as well. New setup, new camera, new everything. We're just gonna go with it tonight because it's uh, almost midnight now, so <laughs> I don't have the patience, and I don't want to. I don't want to bore you guys to death with setting up stuff. Let's see. Oh, good night, Sarah. See you later. Have a good night. Sleep well. I know it's really late over here. The beaded cross stitch patterns are so ridiculous. And there's like, there's a few that are partials and they're cute. There's like a little, like a girl um, that I like. And there's like the smiling sun that looks really trippy and cool and psychedelic and stuff. But it's, it's just, if you're going to do the beaded cross stitch, you just need to do the full picture to get that effect, don't you? I mean, that's how I feel anyway. But I've never done cross stitch in my life. So I picked up one before I went to the airport and I thought, oh, it can't be too hard. It's only just a little bookmark. I have never been more wrong in my life. I took it out and it's even weave. And I was just like, okay, that's not too hard. I'll just go on to Stitch Your Reese's page and look up even weave. And I start the video and my have about an hour before I have to board my plane and leave Wi-Fi forever for like eight hours. And like she was like, so you have to count in sections of nine and think about it in sections of nine. And at first it's really hard, but you'll get used to it. It's okay. Don't worry about it. I was like, I don't have the patience for this. <laughs> I had to put it away and I haven't picked it up yet because, you know, I just got home. But yeah, let's see. Oh, thank you. Thanks very much. 70 by 120, that's huge, Laura. Oh no, 
never again, you know. I mean, like, where do you put it? Where where are you going to hang it, you know? Unless you have one of those massive walls by a staircase or something majestic like that. I couldn't even. Yeah, I'm not buying any big paintings anymore. I'm going to stick with the 40 by 50s or something because they're much easier to frame. It's like a, the magic size at Walmart as well. They have a lot of frames for the 40 by 50. But you should have seen me <laughs> try to get the one from for the Sherlock Holmes one. It was like, I I bought one, brought it home and realized it was like huge. It was the one that I need for the, for the other ever moment over there. Excuse me. The one of the anime face for my friend. Yeah, I read it wrong. So anyway, smaller is better. You can get more done. I mean, I, I don't think that 30 by 40 is really my area, but definitely 40 by 50 or 50 by 60. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> just, this is a 50 by 65, so it's quite big as it is. What y'all talking about over there? Need shirts. I think I, uh, I've lost it. <laughs> I've lost it. Catch me up. Um. <laughs> you used to cross stitch, but can't hold the needles anymore. Mm -hmm. it, I suppose you, you have to use the needle as it is. There isn't any um, way to, to help hold on to it because it has to go through the, through the fabric, of course. What am I even talking about? I knew that. And then I just started saying it and then I had to finish the sentence. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, that that's one thing that I worry about a lot because my grandma has arthritis in her hands. She was a medical transcriptionist for like 30 years. And so her her hands are strong, but they're all wound up, you know, very tight. And when when she has a bad day she just can't uncurl her fingers you know so that's why she stopped cross stitching and i thought that's why diamond painting would be so good because you can use this these tools and you know use like a foam roller on your pen or you know some some modification like that and still enjoy the craft whereas cross stitch you're totally right you you wouldn't be able to do that Okay, next color is 792. Is 792 over here. And the poodle outside. Um, Risha, do you, your dogs lick your legs after you get out of the shower? I know that sounds silly, but my dog, I don't know. She's just... She's just crazy, but she she would follow me when I get out of the shower and I'm walking back to my room in my bathroom trying to lick my legs. What is that? Why? Like, do this taste good and salty or something? Or is it the bath soap? I don't know. It's kind of weird. I mean, I imagine, I try to imagine like a man doing that. <laughs> is it? It's definitely not like that anyway. That's for sure. But uh, yeah, she does it. She does it to me. I don't know if she does it to my husband. He's never told me. <laughs> he probably never would either. <laughs> probably thinks I'm crazy. Right. So we're on the little um, star kind of symbol. It's like a star you'd find on a keyboard. The is it called an asterisk? Asterisk. It's not dirty. Like asteroid disc. Uh, anyway, yeah, I don't, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> um, <laughs> Killian Jones does, which is why he's chasing naked kids around. <laughs> it's too cold. Tell them it's too cold. They need to put on some PJs. Yeah, it's it's like we don't have central um, heating here in Ireland or in the UK either. I don't think unless you're like ridiculously rich or something. But um, 
we we have radiators, so you always have to be bundled up. It doesn't even matter, you know, what time of day it is or if you got it kicked in. I mean, I've had it kicked in, but it doesn't it doesn't really make a difference because the, the air never really gets warm enough for it to touch your skin. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I could be adulting wrong as well. I mean, that's a very big possibility. Um, and I'm all about saving money on bills. So <laughs> maybe I just don't have it on long enough or something. I don't know. But I always have to wrap up. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, they're trying to dry us. I didn't think of that. Yeah. Yeah, they're just trying to take care of us. It's so cute. <laughs> Daisy's taking the PJs. The kids are chasing Daisy while Killian is chasing them, trying to lick them. Aw, that's yeah, cute. AC's on 72. I don't miss the cold. I wish I lived in a warm place sometimes, but it is, it, it, it's, where I'm living now is much more mild than in Virginia. So, like, if I look, I think, let's see what the weather like. It's 47 degrees Fahrenheit. I put it on Fahrenheit for you guys um, right now. So that's not bad, but the humidity is like 110%. It is flash flooding tonight. And for whatever reason, when it rains in the winter, it feels like it's freezing. It feels like it could snow at any minute. And I guess it's just the way that our bodies handle cold or something I don't even know but it does feel very cold and like today I didn't wear a jacket to work and I'm sitting in work freezing my buns off because I'm wearing bandex because I work in a leisure center and I have to wear workout clothes all day even though I'm not working out and yeah it was cold I'd go in and out of the pool checking the levels and stuff and when I come back out to the reception desk where the main door is, I would just be like, oh my gosh. So I was drinking loads of tea and coffee today, which is probably why I'm all wired up because <laughs> I drink too much coffee. Let's see. Oh, hi, Jesse. Welcome back. I am Sarah. I'm originally from Virginia in the States. I live just north of Richmond. For most of my teenage years. I also lived in Northern Virginia. I've lived in North Carolina. Um, and then later on in my adult years, I left, it was, it was in 2010, I left the States and I moved to South Korea. And that's where I eventually met my future hubby, who's in the other room. And when we got together and got serious, we had to make a decision on where to go. And we decided to go to Ireland because why not? It's pretty exciting. <laughs> but um, no, I fell in love with the place. And to be honest with you, every time I go back to the States, it just gets harder and harder for me to kind of blend in, I guess, because I... I just live my whole life in another country. so. I am almost becoming, you know, a citizen of that country. So the way that I view the world is um, from the outside, even though I still have a lot of American friends. And obviously a lot of people that watch this, this YouTube channel are from America. And I don't know if that's because YouTube is more popular in the States than it is abroad. I'm not 100% sure, but... Sometimes, like, when I went over there for this holiday, and I didn't mean to get on this topic and just, you know, shush me if I get too political or something. But And I will definitely try not to. But I just feel like I'm disassociated from that cultural identity. Um, and it's hard to put into words. I feel like I should write a book or something. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll get those words. 
Um, but yeah, so, you know, it's just, um, it's just a different way of living, you know, and the world is a really big place. And when my grandparents and my parents tried to talk to me about moving back to the States, you know, it's kind of like a wish for them to see me come back and, and have a family and do the whole thing over there. Um, but it's, it's a lot harder than they think it is. So, yeah, I don't think I'll be moving back to the States, but I will be visiting from time to time. And it is really good to go home and see my family and friends and everything. And I do miss them a lot. So, but in the meantime, I'm going to enjoy my adventures over here as well, <laughs> which I call adventures, but it's just real life. Where are we? Sorry, no. La, 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 la. Oh, there we are. So Carla Picks asked if uh, you used to live in Virginia too. Where were you in Virginia? Like, what part of Virginia were you in? That's so awesome. Small world. You'd be in your snowsuit. <laughs> Yeah, I love the hot weather. I could live, like, I, I went to Cambodia and Thailand, and I loved it over there. It was so hot, and everybody was complaining. And I even got, like, and it sparkles, it shimmers. It's hard to even see. Like, you have to have the light underneath it, and I don't want to blind you to death. But it's kind of, um, will it work? I don't think it'll work. Oh, there we go. Sorry, you can see my wrinkly earth hands. But, um. That shimmer is everything. Um, it's Stephanie. It's uh, Rich Crafts. I'll link it here in the chat for you if you're interested. He's in the UK. Um, and there are other um, stores online on Facebook that sell diamond painting pens as well. Um, he's the one that I reached out to first. And so I bought this one from him. It was about 20 bucks US. Hi, Jen. Oh, welcome. You're going to lurk tonight. That's perfectly fine, too. I appreciate you coming by. If you have any questions, tell me, because I I will ramble and ramble, ramble all night, if, and I'm barely getting any time. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up with that. Um, hi, Shirley's Crafty World. Is it Cheryl's? Cheryl's Crafty World. Hello. Welcome. Oh, sorry about the husband cursing in the background. He's playing Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> so I apologize. Uh, cover your children's ears if you can hear him. If not, then ignore me. Jennifer, Jennifer Stitches lives in, in Maryland. Oh, very good. I've been to Maryland a few times, but not that often. Only to Baltimore. Are you in Baltimore? Mm -hmm. Many messages on my phone, oh dear. <laughs> In the Northeast. I wish you could live somewhere else. Where would you live if you could live anywhere in the world? Where would you want to live? Teresa and Tracy, my daughter can't wait till she's 18 so she can meet the U.S. I would, I would really highly suggest that everybody travel outside the U.S. Like I, I think that that is is a really good way to um, to see the world and to, to get to know the world as well. Um. So Teresa lives in Maryland. I could tell from her accent that she lived really close to where I am. It's not quite Southern, but it's pretty Southern as well. But they would say it's not Southern at all, but she's a, she's a little bit. Maybe not as much as me. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay. Maine, Japan. Italy, somewhere hot. Yeah. Somewhere hot. 
take me somewhere else. And it would be really nice if there was an Aquaman somewhere around there as well. What's his name? Jason. That guy from Game of Thrones. I have to see that movie. I'm going to see that movie. There's a meme online. Uh, Mom's going to take the kids to go see Aquaman. I don't have any kids that I would totally take some of the kids to see Aquaman. <laughs> Jason Momoa. Yes. <laughs> Do not tell my husband. <laughs> it's okay. We're allowed to have a list. That's that's my rule anyway. Um, you can. Ooh, sorry for bumping you there. We can all appreciate the beautifulness that is other people. Everybody's beautiful. Some people are especially beautiful. I'm gonna have another one of these because I need a snack. England. Hmm. England is um. It's very interesting. I am talking while I'm eating. Mmm, they're really good. <laughs> Sarah, you'll hoe with me. Woohoo! If you go on a. Oh! <laughs> you'll go with me. Okay, that's different. <laughs> Mmm. Water. <laughs> Rob is still here. Good. How do you pronounce that? Arden? Arden? Or the Bavarian Alps? Forests. Ooh. Would you get a I'd love to have a vacation. I said this, but I'd never do this, but I really actually thank you. I want to have a vacation on a mountain with the snow and the fire and be locked in. Now I do that here with the rain, but rain is not as cool as snow. Sorry, I said the S word. <laughs> <laughs> y'all <laughs> oh my gosh I'm so sorry the chat <laughs> you are too funny okay I need to do some work on this painting I'm just sitting here chatting um if you want to ask me a question please tag me and if you don't know how to do that, you just need to type the at symbol and then start typing Rachel. And then it will highlight my name and you press enter and then you can type away your message. And that way I can actually see it. Because otherwise, yeah, I, I can't keep up. You guys are very talented. <laughs> I know for shame. I just hit myself. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> I'm fighting now. No, I'm not fighting. I promise. Should I, like, I've been going from the symbols up here down. Now I think I might just work in a random way because I just need to get some stuff done. Let's do this, um, this letter here in the middle. So let's do the let's do the crescent moon that crescent moon shape 371 371 is kind of a, a pea soup green color <laughs> oh just comments one two three what's your earliest memory hmm i don't know what's your earliest memory i think I think one of my earliest memories is probably jumping into leaves when I was like three. My grandfather used to break up all the leaves in the yard and he'd make huge piles and then eventually he'd put them into baggies, you know, as we do in Virginia. And like he'd either burn them or he'd put them into baggies. So 
he was doing that and like I would just run out of the house and jump into them and it was so nice and the smell the smell was to die for so yeah that was one of my earliest memories I can't I I remember having really a really bad dream and that it kind of sticking with me for a long time um but that was around when I was about four years old I think and it was about my my dog dying or something I think it was my first nightmare or something. And I still remember. Well, I don't remember all the details, but I do I do remember how I felt. You know? What about you guys? <laughs> Goodbye, Teresa and Tracy Wheeler. Thanks for coming. Oh, okay. So Crescent Moon. So thing is, okay, this is the original um, sheet that they sent me, or, or a copy, I can't remember, maybe I copied this one, but um, the symbols are really small on it. Oh, you can see them. You see number eight there, 371, that is the crescent moon shape. Let's see. But the thing is, is that there is a very similar symbol and, um, sorry, wrong way. There's a very similar symbol and color, which is number 35. It just goes the opposite way. So that's kind of one of the only ones that I've had trouble with. All the rest of them are fine, but so far. But I don't think it's, I don't think that they're weird or anything. I think the printing on it is perfect. So like, I really I can see everything. Now I'd use a light pad anyway, because it's nighttime. But um, yeah, I, I am really loving it so far. I don't have any issues with the canvas. Uh, I have had a few bad drills and I've had a little bit of popping, but like, I think that could be me as well. It's not, it's not like it was with the, the deer picture. It's not that bad at all. Let's see. Sure. Uh, so it's midnight now. I have tomorrow off. So I'm planning on digging pretty much all day. Uh, and trying to catch up on everybody's videos, but I am two weeks behind, so I don't know if that's going to work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work through my subscription list from the day that I left and just start working forward. Because if I work from tomorrow morning's first video backwards, I'm never going to catch up. So I'm going to do it that way and try to Try to watch them all. A lot of them are really interesting. I saw, I did watch Wendy's um, last night. Did anybody see that one? The one with the subscriber map? That's a really interesting idea. I think that's really cool. And she's so nice. She, she really wants to get to know us all. And I think that's really sweet. Especially when you have of the community or something. At least that's how I view it. I mean, I look up to her. And she really helped me out. And I've I've messaged her a few times and she's so sweet. So, you know, I would just say that I don't know, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to say that we're all we're all human beings and everybody's trying to do their best. And I don't think that anybody has it out for anybody or anything like that. I find that this community is awesome and I wouldn't trade it for anything. I love you guys. That was really fast. And that's all the crescents. But see how like these kind of look like crescents, but they're actually like uh, greater than symbols. So, yeah, that, that's a little confusing to me because I'm working sideways. Though, then I'm not really pea green <laughs> color. Ooh, that's awesome. I love pulling. I think it's highly underrated here. There's nowhere to go bowling in Ireland. Maybe it's just not a thing here. I don't know. 
like rollerblading and roller skating, not a thing really here. I keep joking with people. I'm like, we need to have like a youth club that has, that has a big, you know, sports hall for stuff. It's just different here. You either play Irish football or don't do anything at all. But then again, I do I do live in the in the fix, so to speak. So it's kind of it's kind of like that when you get out in the country. Anywhere you go. Oh, geez. Hi Danny. Even when I was struggling with something, sorry. Locking mechanism. There we go. How are you? Oh, you're buffering. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, let's see. Now I'm going to do this um, the slash, the forward slash, double forward slash, which is look here. It's the last color. 3864. Now something that really intrigues me that I don't I don't know how they do it. So maybe somebody who has more experience um, will know the answer to this, but why are all the DMC colors out of order? Like, why aren't they, why am I buzzing? Why, why aren't they like in rainbow order? Is it because they only started with a few colors and they, but then they, they start at 150, 150, isn't it? Does anybody know how they labeled this? Like how they started this system? It really confuses me. Oh no, it's just Facebook. Okay, can put that away. Let's see. Okay, you were born in the states in two thousand and six. You moved to Japan, met your boyfriend, and then moved to Australia. Oh wow! Yeah, so we have like the exact same story. That's awesome. really cool. Do you teach as well, or did you move there? To do language stuff, or that's really neat because that's what that's almost what I did. I almost went to Japan. I wanted to go to Japan, but I didn't. Things just didn't quite work out that way, but that's okay. I, I don't regret anything. What did Sarah say? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? What's happening in my chat, <laughs> Rob? You want to be a moderator? <laughs> I think they're talking about you. This is hilarious, guys. You're great. We be all up in here. It's a, it's a good thing that this isn't like Discord or something, because I'm sure that there would be funny pictures going around right now if we had that option. <laughs> What's everybody working on tonight? Are you working on diamond paintings, crocheting, cross stitch, quilting? Are you doing housework? Oh wow, you became the manager of a hospital. That's really cool. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> I think a man started the DMC. <laughs> <laughs> now that makes sense. It's nice having the camera coming straight down though, but I don't know if it's good for live or not. Is it really distracting to have my hand moving in front of you all the time? I don't know. You tell me. I guess you guys are just looking at this. <laughs> 
I'm working on my keyboard. Can't you tell? <laughs> yes, I can tell. <laughs> no, that's good. Working on feeding my face. Oh, I might have to get this chocolate as well. Have you tried this um, chocolate love? It is so, so good. Uh, this particular one has like these bits of raspberry in, in it. Yeah, you can see that. Really lovely. And then here, I'll read you the love poem. That's the special thing about this bar. If you don't have this one. Okay, here we go. Am I going to read this? Shall I read this? I don't know. But you can see there's a um, there's a love poem. Oh, and it's actually really pretty. But I feel like if I read, if I read it now, yeah, it's just gonna get torn apart. <laughs> It'll be um, really crafted and read. <laughs> Mm. Is who a can gonna pay for it? Yes, I just spelled the P. I am. No, sorry. Oh, Stephanie, don't go. Come back. No, I'm just kidding. I'll catch you next time. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, I need to know more about the cruise, please. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure that's a joke, but if it's not a joke, I really, really want to know. My, one of my best friends is actually getting married in Toronto in September of next year. So I will be in Toronto next year. At least I'm pretty sure she's getting married in Toronto. She's either getting married in Toronto or in Nepal. So... I don't know which yet. She hasn't given me details, but I need details. But I will be traveling next year, and I think I'm going to Canada. So hopefully I can meet up with some of my Canadian diamond painting friends, which would be amazing. But a cruise would be really fun, too. Hi, Karina. Oh, you're here. Okay. Yeah, I I got into the zone earlier on. I was listening. Um, I was in the live chat earlier, I'm trying to remember which one it was. But I was just I was just zoned in. I was super focused. I was like, I'm gonna get this done. <laughs> I did get a lot done. This is all this, this all of this is per se, pretty much. I did not. And, uh, didn't do a lot last night, but I was trying to set up this webcam and everything last night. And then I was like, man, this is taking way too long. And then I had to go to bed and then I couldn't go to sleep. And then I was watching more YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it's just like cool. But I think it's just the jet lag, to be honest. Yes, Jennifer, it was your life. I got I got super sucked into it. I was just like, yeah. <laughs> I think. No, I'll do the I don't know what that's called. The little sideways oblong I mean looking thing. What is that? Six seventy-seven. There's a Facebook group called Diamond Painting Cruise. And it's a cruise on the allure of the seas. It's September eighth to 
15th and they blocked up a certain part of the boat. A bunch of people are going to go join the Facebook group. I believe it's called Diamond Painting Cruise. <gasps> okay. <laughs> okay, I don't know where that is, but okay. I'm guessing it's like Florida or something. Oh, the Western Caribbean. Oh my gosh. Wouldn't that be amazing? I wonder how expensive it is though. I mean, it's already expensive for me to go stateside, so I don't know if I could make it. I'd really love to. Maybe if some company sponsored me or something. Just kidding. Hashtag not fun. But um, that would be really, really fun. If something changes in the next few months, then maybe. That would be great. I deserve it. We all deserve it, don't we? Can you imagine us on a cruise together though? <laughs> oh, and Rob. Rob would have to come too. He'll have to moderate us in real life. <laughs> oh, sorry, I bumped you again. Is that that's all of them? Oh, I missed this one and that one. Oh well. Oh, and I missed another one there and there. I always see it after the fact. Oh, wait, this is one of them. Aha. There we go. Fort Lauderdale, cheapest cabin is 600, and you can make payments on it. Everything is included. Awesome. You're really selling it to me, Jamie. But I think my friend's, my friend's wedding is September 7th. Or something like that. I'm a bad friend. I don't remember the date. I'll have to see. I'll have to see. I can't make any promises, but I'll have to see. I'd love to go. Oh, is that an F as well? Okay, that's an F. Yeah, that's an F. F is next. Hi, the J group. How are you? We're doing diamond painting. What are you up to? 3770. 3770 is pink. It's going to go here in the middle of the letter. Okay, so you pay for your travel agency. Hmm. That's not bad. That's not too bad. I wonder if I can get a cheap flight to Miami or Orlando. Does anybody know how far Orlando is from Fort Lauderdale? Or Fort Lauderdale is from Orlando? That would be cool. <laughs> you can get t-shirts to say, beware of the redheads. I'm actually a redhead as well, so count me in. Oh, thank you, Jamie. Yeah, it's it's really nice. It's a good weight. Um, it's it's from this store. I have it linked here because I get so many questions about it. So if you're interested in checking out his store, it is a really um, really good deal. Really nicely made, and it comes with the single placer and the multi placer. So I thought it was good. But he is based in the UK, so I don't know what the shipping costs would be. I imagine it would be quite pricey, but it's worth it for me. Let's see. Oh, you have to leave. Oh, no. Well, Krellipix, I'm so glad that you came in and enjoyed with us. And I hope to see you soon. And I really, really enjoyed your videos. So thank you for sharing and everything with us, too. And we'll talk to you soon. Hopefully you do a live stream. That would be awesome. <laughs> I'm already on the I'm already on the notification squad there. So yeah, I'd be there in two seconds. <laughs> oh.
Oh, Rob. Oh, Rob. <laughs> Poor Rob. Actually, what am I saying? Rob is lucky. <laughs> no, we are speeding through this. Good, because I think, oh, there's a more. This should be all of the Fs. Woohoo, look at that. We have a letter bottle. Looks really cool. I'm going to try not to spill these everywhere. I need to get one of those, um, one of those thingies, Alicia, the Arches Arts trays that has the cover over the spout. So I, what's going to be next? Next is going to be Z, the Z, where you're from, which is 793. You might need more chocolate. <laughs> What's a nice light blue color? Yep. And I filled it up to the top. It must be a very popular color in this painting. Uh -oh. The only thing I don't like about these is that the drills sometimes get stuck from here and you have to kind of shake them down and out. Let me show you what I mean. And then while you're shaking it out, sometimes these drills will try to pop out as well. Otherwise, you can't close it. So that's the only negative thing. But I could get a spoon or something. I mean, just, just lazy. I don't want to let go of my drill pen. <laughs> Let's see if I can move you up this way. You can see my, my little red panda again. We gotta give him a name. Or her, or it. <laughs> okay, Jamie. See you in a minute. Three hours and 11 minutes from Fort Lauderdale to Orlando. Okay, that's a little longer than... That's driving, isn't it? I guess that would mean another flight, but that wouldn't be too hard. Because there's Dublin, Dublin to Orlando, and then I'm sure Orlando to Fort Lauderdale is very easy to get. I need to win the lottery, like right now, please. I'm gonna play the lottery for Christmas. I never do lotto stuff in my everyday life because I just think that it's kind of a waste of time, to be honest, for, in my opinion. But like around Christmas, <laughs> around Christmas, they always sell like these little scratch cards and things. And I just think it's so much fun in the little mini games that I don't even care if I win because the, the game itself is just fun. So yeah, I'm mean, gonna have to get into that. And can you believe that Christmas is only like two and a half weeks away or something? Today, today is the, the fifth. So we have 20 days. I am not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not gonna have this ready. You know, hurry up, but I am going to think. I don't work, so I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I would love, I would love to not work again, but there's also this feeling like um, sometimes the area that I work in is very seasonal. So sometimes I'm unemployed for long stretches of time. And I hate that. I hate being unemployed and, and feeling that kind of like, I don't know, that worthlessness. Like, 
oh, why can't I get a job? You know, I've, I've gone to school and I've done my time and I'm a hard worker, but there's no job here. It's really hard sometimes, but I've been really lucky this year. I think this year has been the best year so far out of the four years that I've lived here for for job security anyway. So I'm going to keep going the way I'm going and count my blessings and save my money <laughs> and try not to spend it all on diamond painting. I really do need to finish the ones that I've done. That I've bought first. As, as much as I'd love to be an unboxing channel, I don't have the funds for that sort of thing. And I don't have any, uh, what do you call it? Snowflake income? Where you, you earn money on things like assets, I guess you would call them if you're a normal person. Um, so I have to work money. Eventually, though. Let's see. I don't know. Let me get my stuff in order. I just hit 31 this year. I'm turning 32 in February, and I kind of I'm starting to feel it now. I'm like, oh god, I'm not in my 20s anymore. Don't have an excuse to to keep lingering, I suppose. But anyway, anybody else feel like that? <laughs> or do you guys have it all together? A 42 minute drive. Thank you, Laura. You're very good for looking that up. I would love to go on a cruise with some girlfriends and just chat and have fun and not have any worries. But I just came back from vacation. <laughs> It's kind of unfair for me to feel like that or think like that now, I think. Or is it? I don't know. Excuse me. I need some water. Bring you down here. You have to finish your cousin's gift. One pen by one pen? Woo. Oh, dear. <laughs> the screen went all acid trippy. Is that, is that just where it is right now, or is it doing some kind of freak out on you? It seems to be fine on my end. Let me know if it happens again. I'd like to see it. See? I literally am only testing patterns with magazines to pay for more diamond paintings. You see my lives, I'm a hot mess. <laughs> you are not. No, you, you got to do to get what you want. Uh, even if, even if it was only just a little, because I love doing it. And get paid to do the things that you love is, is the dream. Okay, I think I'm done with Z. Nope, I'm not, not even close. Nope. <laughs> Didn't do this side. Let's see. Z, 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 Z. I'm seeing all these symbols that I missed. Probably because my arm was in the way and I just didn't pay attention. That's okay though. Um, now that's the that's the last C that I can. Oh no, <laughs> there's always one more. Okay, now that's it. Living in Florida for three years now, and I'm two hours from Miami and Fort Lauderdale. My dad lives in Florida. He lives in or near Port Charlotte. 
which is actually where his where he grew up as a child. But he moved out of there, or they moved out of there. When he was maybe nine or ten up to Virginia. Now that he's in his fifties, he's back up there again. He loves it. I love it. The live is messing up on my end. Live is messing. Up. Uh oh, guys. Maybe can you still hear my voice? I think it might just be my internet. I might have hit my Mac today or something. Maybe I'll have to call it quits for tonight. <laughs> if it doesn't, if it doesn't uh, clear up, will I try one more color? And if it if it keeps messing up, then I'll I'll zoom it out a little bit. Sometimes that's the problem. I don't know. I like my washi tape. I got some new washi tape. Oh, sorry. So I got this over in Michael's and I really like the patterns. It's so pretty. Um, it's got all these kind of like muted blues and greens and pinks and purples. And oh, I'm just in love with it. So I'm using this washi tape for this painting. I'm, I'm just in love. I'm in love. Because <laughs> you can see it now. You had green squiggly lines. That is acid trippy. <laughs> Weird. Okay, we'll keep you zoomed out. So, and we'll do, I'm going to do Scenix, which is $7.99. Another blue. So, tell me if you are celebrating. Um, if you did celebrate Thanksgiving, what was your favorite part about Thanksgiving? And if you didn't celebrate things, bleh, celebrate Thanksgiving, what holiday are you looking forward to next? Because not everybody celebrates Christmas. But I just want to see, because we might have some really interesting people to learn from today in the chat. <laughs> My tubes do not contain knobbly bits. No. <laughs> they are nice and smooth. <laughs> yeah. I had a great Thanksgiving. And I'm sure that most of you heard about it already. So I don't want to peek myself. But it was really, really great seeing my family. Chrissy, I love the big tray. And I could not find and paint without it now. Uh, when I went over and I was introducing my grandma to the diamond painting. And bought her that like lavender arrangement that they had on Diamond Art Club ages ago. I bought it for her. And um, I was showing her how to do it and everything. And she was using the small tray, which is this one. And I was using the big tray. And I felt so bad for her because she has arthritis and everything. So I, and she flew with it. And so when I, right before I left, I had to order her one of those accessory kits. <laughs> So that she could have the big tray. And I'm not, I hope that the white tray comes in it. I know the blue tray, tray does. It has the light pad. It has a whole bunch of pens and stuff. But the tray is what she wanted. So it was really nice getting her introduced to that. Yeah, I had to take my tray back. I'm like, I cannot give this to you to keep. I'm sorry. It's, it's my best friend. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, and it, it arrived today, I think, a big old box full of stuff. Not the pink box, but another box. Sorry, I just smelled something, it smelled like popcorn. It was like, mmm, popcorn. Speaking of popcorn, you might have to make some as a snack. 
I had chili tonight. I had chili and garlic bread. Normally I'd make some cornbread, but I don't have buttermilk or anything. We need to go shopping tomorrow. We just got back. But um yeah, I had I had a nice bowl of chili, but it just wasn't enough. So it's snack time. <laughs> it's snack time in my house. Let's see. Is that all the C's? I think it is. Okay. All right. I'll come back with it if it's not all the C's. Let's see. Yeah, my grandpa grandma is diamond painting now. I don't know how much she'll do without me there. And I think I might have to call and remind her about it. She has dementia, but um, she spent one morning for like at least three hours doing it. But I told her, I was like, you can't sit there and diamond paint. You have to get up and move around. You know, you're not 803. Oh, look, it's right here. Woohoo. Hold up. Do you make your chili with pastor oil so you don't get the farts? Is that a serious question? Uh, no, I don't. I didn't know that was a thing. Can you do that? Does everybody do that? I don't even know if you do, to be honest. No, I don't. I don't use castor oil in any cooking. Um, nope. <laughs> There's other things that I've heard that you could use castor oil for. But cooking was... Um, I'm going to try to stay up until 5 a.m. in diamond paint. I have to get it out of the way. I have a 300 by 145 to work on and a 420 by 140. Thingy. <laughs> what kind of desk do you have? Because that's huge. Oh, Jennifer Stitches, thank you for, for sticking around. It was really nice to have you here. It was so nice to see you live earlier today. And your kids are so adorable. So, give him my best, Christy. It is nice that she she diamond paints. I'm I'm trying to get her really into it now. You know. Now my next symbol is going to be B seven seven nine seven seven nine. This one, but I don't know how into it she's going to get. I think it just depends on how much she practices practices on it because you know sometimes it's just once you get into a habit at a certain age you don't really stray for you from your routine so we'll see but I did get her a nice pretty one so I think she'll be into it I hope so anyway it'd be nice to have a, a family member that does it too Aunt used to put castor oil in the chili so we didn't pick up the house. <laughs> That's really interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to look into that. No, I haven't I haven't heard of that before. Chili's on the menu as soon as I can keep it down. You know what? Chili is like food of the gods. It is a perfect winter food and it's so nutritious and delicious. And it can be just as spicy or as sweet as you want. No problem, Jennifer. Yeah, it was really nice to get to meet you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go watch her videos. If I get a chance tomorrow, I'm going to be sitting here all day tomorrow too. So <laughs> I'll, um, I'll have a look back and maybe maybe your one of your videos can teach me how to work even weave fabric. Because I've got a little bookmark that is smaller than this diamond painting tray. And I have no idea where to start. So I need to... I'll look that up tomorrow as well. I'll have a look at your channel. Let's see. 300 by 145 is the last supper. Oh, yeah. Uh, 420 by 140 is the animal thing with tons of different animals. Are those the animals with, uh, like, all the zoo animals? 
because I've seen one like that and it looks awesome. And if it's that size, oh. Wait, who's Lee? Who's Lee? Who's Lee in a, in a who's staying? Are you are you leaving, Misha? Um, one thing I love about winter is soup. Yes, soups are phenomenal. Love them. Now, some soups I, I can do without, but most soups I do love. My my husband is mad about celeriac. Have you ever had celeriac? It's, it's like it's like um it's like a cousin of celery. It's a root vegetable like a turnip, but it tastes like celery, and you can make like a soup out of it. That's what he does, and he insists that it's the most delicious thing. I think that's horrible. Have you ever had it? I don't, please fill me in on this fuzzy taco thing. I am so far behind. <laughs> Does this have to do with the bras and the other thing and the whatnot? <laughs> yeah, everyone was saying goodbye to you. I was like, wait, she's not going nowhere. <laughs> Yeah, it's spelled like this. Let me let me spell it for you. Celeriac. It's a, a really weird vegetable. And it's a really ugly vegetable as well. Let me bring it all down here. Let's see. I wonder if this is the light pad that makes it all trippy. Could be. I don't know. Just a theory. Now, I might have to go here in like five minutes or so. I just realized that I'm approaching two hours, which is amazing. And I love live streaming for long periods of time, but my back is starting to hurt. <laughs> and maybe I need more than just a snack, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to go and make some popcorn and go sit in with hubby for a while and Show him that I still care about him. He makes jokes like that he's lost me forever to diamond painting, which might be true, but he hasn't really lost me. But yeah, I've been in here for so long today that my back is starting to hurt. And that's not a good sign. You don't want to do that. But I'm really excited to have the next two days off. I've got a video to put up. Um, of the haul of stuff that I got in the States. And I think I have some things coming in the mail soon as well, which is always really exciting. Um, and hopefully we can get this live stream scheduling thing uh, sorted, but I don't know when I'm going to know because my job is kind of... Well, that's another story for another day. But basically... I don't know what's going to be happening at my job and I don't know when I'm going to be able to ask. I may have to wait until after Christmas and I know that's a long time away, but just to be safe, I want to wait until after Christmas and then I'll be like, okay guys, so, you know, can we make a deal here? Cause yeah. I would like to have one guaranteed, always going to have it off. That would be nice because I always work weekends. So it seems fair. And who, who ever asks for like a Tuesday? You know what I mean? So that would mean Monday nights or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know yet. A taco place. It's a taco place? It's a taco place? called fuzzy taco oh dang okay i need to know where that is so that i can put it on my bucket list i have like a i always have a bucket list for when i go over to the states 
And it's always food. It's always food. Seven layer dip was on it this time. I was like, and you are going to have seven layer dip. And he did. He liked it. <laughs> Let's see. I had to jump off and drive home from work, but I had a nice surprise because there's another costume from. Oh, yay! Another costume from Ever Moment. Oh, that's so exciting. Well done. Ray for Kelly. Yes, it is 1 a.m. for me. <laughs> uh, I am going to steal Red Dead 2. <laughs> I don't know how to play it, so I didn't watch the tutorial uh, stupidly, but I had to start this, you know? But, um,. I have um, Horizon Zero Dawn and Spyro to play as well. So the trilogy. So I am set. I'll get to play them eventually. Maybe he'll get sick of this game. No, he'll never get sick of this game. <laughs> Let's see what else we got here. Good timing. I'm going... In five minutes, 1 a.m., I plan on Christmas shopping tomorrow or later today. Well, thank you, Rob, for bringing us a lot of laughs and entertaining us. I hope it wasn't too boring for you. I didn't even think to ask what you were working on this evening. I imagine you're, like, programming or something. I don't know why I have that in my head. Have I got it right? Are you like a programmer or something? Am I stereotyping? <laughs> I'm sorry if I am. What else is going on here? Uh, oh, we got a random person. Okay. Well, bye. -bye. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. I'm going to go ahead and put him in the corner. That's fine. Fuzzy's Taco Shop. Um, I think I'm definitely going to take that and put that on the list. I don't know who that was, but that was awesome. My first troll. Woohoo. <laughs> um, that's fine it's one o'clock in the morning anyway so I should probably wrap this up so I feel like I've made it I finally made it I got my first troll <laughs> um, I don't smoke weed so I don't know <laughs> um, yeah y'all I think that's going to be it tonight. I hope you had a good time. I hope that you were entertained, if not by me, and by my very good friends, Really Crafted, Red, Miss Crochet and Coffee, and all the rest of y'all who are hilarious and make it so much fun to do these live chats. They're so entertaining and almost more fun than even you know, making videos in the first place. I would do this every day if I could. It's so much fun. But I will leave it here. And I thank you all for joining. And if you are watching this later on in the future, then thank you for taking the time to watch this very long drill with me and all the random craziness that came with it. And if you weren't watching the chat, then it probably made no sense whatsoever. Um, I will see you all very shortly for another video and hopefully next week for another live. I will let you know in my next video what that day will be and I'll try to do the premiere where I can schedule that live so that you can see it in your notifications. And if you hit the bell next to that subscribed button, then you will get a notification when I'm about to go live. So I would recommend doing that. But if you're annoyed by like email alert, all you have to do is go into your settings and delete me from the email list. It's as simple as that. And it'll just come up on the phone. But I find super helpful. That's what I do for all of my favorite YouTubers. So 
With that being said, thank you so much. I love you guys very much. You're all very dear to me. And I hope you have a very good night. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.